Hello everyone and um, welcome <laughs> to this obscure scenario. No, no, no obscure, no. Sorry about that. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, um, we are in the parking lot of TJ Maxx. I know it's a little late and the lighting is not too great. I'm a little red because right in front of me is a Chinese place. But, look what I have. I have a rabbit shawarma. I'm trying to eat some of them really fast before I go in there. And then, I am trying to find a few things. So, like I said, I'm trying to find a few things before I go in there. I just kind of want to let you know what is it that I'm looking for. I am looking for an ABH um, eyeshadow palette. I'm also looking for a MAC product. Whatever MAC product there may be. And also I'm looking to spend only $50. I don't have any more than that. So everything has to be $50. And also I am looking to find a product from a brand that I have never tried. So with that in mind, let's go in there and see what can we find. All right. See you now. purchase a bunch of things I know I said in one of the videos that I only wanted to spend 50 bucks eh, well I doubled that but you know it doesn't matter you know why because I found one item that I was so excited about that I really 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 needed to have it so I was like screw my budget I'm gonna buy whatever I want and then I couldn't find any MAC products in there, so that's a good thing. I don't own any MAC products. I'm going to talk about that at some point in time. But what I was able to find, I was able to find some of those, uh, as, you can, as you've seen in the video, the Riviera Powder from ABH. That was amazing. I wanted to get it, but I was like, you know what? I'm pretty sure next time when I go there, it's still going to be there, so I don't need to get it right now. That's because I found something else better. And also there was Alyssa Edwards AB, with ABH um, Cosmetics in there as well. And that was, was selling for 20 bucks. I was like, oh, I want it, I want it, I want it. But then I was like, no, 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 no. I need, it. I need to make sure <laughs> I still have some money when I leave this store so I was like no okay so let me show you what I got and then we can talk from there and I kind of show you why 
I decided not to get the Riviera palette and get it with a different palette instead. So, okay. So, so, I got this thing. This is London Soho New York Countertop Organizer, Chic Unique Beauty Organizer, because I have so many brushes. Like, the brushes are everywhere. Everywhere. And I have so many of them. And this one was $3.99. And I was like, oh my god, this is way too good. Looking way too good not to get it. So, I had to have it. And let me show you because it's really pretty. I'm pretty sure it's not going to stay this clean. But the one thing that made me want to get it is because it has so many things in here that I could put like for my eyes or I could put that, those for my face. I can have them a little bit more organized and I can just put some at a time and then go from there, you know. So I'm glad about this and Then one. I was looking into there and I was like, I saw this thing which is a Precision Beauty Brush Cleaning Palette, the pro way to clean it to maintain your favorite makeup brushes. So this is like a, this is like a little, a little bathtub for your brushes, okay? So I was like, oh, that looks super cute and I totally need something that I can clean my brushes on and have it a little bit better. So um, this was what was $4.99 and I was like excited to get it. So I'm definitely happy about that one. You know, this thing, this is like, it smells divine. I absolutely love the way this thing smells. So this is a thing that I've never tried. This is Sap Saponificio Paracino 1945 Natural Soap. Goat's milk exfoliating with coffee grounds, moisturizing with goat milk made in Italy. Initially, I grabbed this because I really wanted to have something for my brushes or for my um, for my um, beauty blenders to wash it with, and I just I just love to get soaps and just do that. Um, but the smell of this one and the fact that it's exfoliating, I don't know. I might use it on myself and see how this goes. And this was three dollars and ninety nine cents, and it smells so. I'm gonna go with this one. Oh yeah. Oh my god. I was so excited about this thing. So excited. I don't know how I even found this. There were only like two or three, two or three things from Pretty Vulgar in there. But this was one of them. And I think this was the last one in there. I think so. It was the last one in there or something like that. So ever since the foundation came out the pretty vulgar foundation the lava foundation came out i've been trying to get it i've been trying to go in and get it but none of the stores none of the sephora stores has it um and i just have to i have to order it and i never made myself order it but I know I want that foundation. <laughs> I, I know I will get that foundation at some point in time for sure. But till then, I was like, I really want to get this because I saw it, TJ Maxx, and I was like, what? And it's Detox and Chill Lava Water Foundation Primer. So when I'm gonna get the Lava Water Foundation, this is gonna come in handy because I wanna use the primer as well and see how everything goes together so if you're interested in that don't forget to subscribe so you can see that video so yeah i'm glad about this one this one was nine dollars and 99 cents and says it compares to 17 dollars okay. oh i got some candy <laughs> so i got some peanut butter bites Two dollars and ninety nine cents. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Peanut butter candy. <laughs> All right, let's see what else. So I got a bunch of things here, uh, which are so exciting. So exciting. Okay, uh, I got, I got three things. Uh, two, well, three things from two companies that I've never tried anything from. Right. So this is. Baksum Baba Pan Shiny Liquid Lipstick in Rouge. Let's open it up. And this is how the packaging looks like. 
really interesting. Okay, so let's see. Ooh. Love the color. Look at that. That is a gorgeous color. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, sir. Love that. Okay, so we got that one. And then I got, I don't know, should I swatch this or not? But because I have so many lipsticks. <laughs> okay, so this one it is a matte cream lip crayon from Bite Beauty, and I love the packaging of it. Like, come on, the packaging is gorgeous, and the color is really pretty. Wow, look at that! That is so gorgeous, and it goes so well with my complexion. So I'm like, yes, I'm going to take this home. And I paid for this one $4.99. And the Vava Plum it was $5.99. And it says compares to $10. Not sure. And then we have another Bite Beauty product, which is called French Press Lip Gloss. You know? So let's see how this is. Ooh, this is like a dark brown lip gloss. And it is really pretty. I'm not gonna open this one because I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna use it at the time. I have a bunch of glosses at this time that I'm using. So this is not gonna be one of them uh, right now. So I do love it. I am excited I got that one. One of the things that I was like, you know what? I need this. I, I need to treat myself, I need to give myself some really good, amazing eye cream because I've been looking, I've been trying a bunch of eye creams uh, for a while now and none of them seems to work really well for me. For some reason, none of them do mostly anything for me, you know? So this time I was like, okay, I'm gonna get this, okay? so this is. Shiseido Benefiance Wrinkle is this 24 Intensive Eye Contour Cream. I'm in my 30s now, so I need, really need to protect my under eye area because that's the only place that I started to get some wrinkles and I want to make sure I keep that under eye area as moisturized as possible and this, this I heard so many good things about and I need to try it myself and hopefully it's gonna work for me too. This is 30 this is this was $39.99 and it says compares to $60. I think for me this was the biggest score that I got from TJ Maxx. Um so the, the item this is why, this is why, this is, this is why I uh, did not bought the Riviera palette because I had it in my cart, like I had the Riviera palette in my cart all the time until I found this and I said, you know what, I never tried Kevin O'Quan and uh, I really want to see how that performs and a lot of people that um, I watch on YouTube, they're really... They, they they really love his product so I'm like okay let me see what's going on with this brand because I don't know anything about it you know so this is jewel pop face and eye palette from Kevin O'Quan and this is $19.99 and says compared to $33 so let me show it to you out here and then I'm gonna just kind of try them on you know So this is a very, very gorgeous palette right there. It is so pretty, you know. There's only six shades and two things in here, rose, sculpting, medium, and all that. I forgot I had, this one had the face thing too. And I already applied my stuff, but I'm still gonna go over it. So let's see. Let's I'm gonna go with the sculpting medium. I'm 
and then just kind of try to make it a little bit more. Oh yeah, that looks good. I thought it's gonna be a little bit light for my skin, but it's not actually. Oh yeah, I like it. I like it. Now the rose quartz, the this thing, I'm like trying to combine and see how it goes. Ooh, love that. That is so pretty. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it is really pretty. I do have a little bit of uh, I have a little bit of a, bl a blush on, and I think I have. What did I put on today? Something from the ColourPop for sure. Yes. So let's try this. I'm just gonna put it a little bit on top. Just gonna see if it gives us a different color. Oh yeah, it does. Ooh, well look at that. Ooh, I love it. Yes. Love that. Okay, now let's try to do a look with this palette, shall we? I'm going to grab some of my uh, brushes and then we'll work with them and see where it takes us. I'm going to do a spade through so you don't have to look at everything. And then kind of come back and tell you what I've used. Alright guys, so this is how it looks right now. I uh, like most of the colors, not all of them. Some are a little bit harder to work with. So let me tell you exactly what I did. I put this one all over the lid and um, it's really pretty. It goes in, blends in really nice. And then I put the mahogany in my crease and then on top of the mahogany I went with ruby as you can see over there and it blends really nice and really well and then the emerald is gorgeous but I feel like it's fading like it's it's fading while after you put it on but it's a really pretty color and then citrine was hard to put on and like because it's a different composition I don't know if you can tell but it's like it's kind of different and it's like, it's really pretty like that, but you just kind of have to do it with your finger and you have to press it in a specific way. But yeah, that's how that one looks like. And it's really nice, but it's hard to put on. But once it's on, it looks really good, as you can see. Put it right here. And then, um, topaz. Yeah. I try to do the topaz and it's not not doing that great as you can see it looks really nice over here but i think this one is only like if you just kind of put it uh only in this like in the center or something like that so i wasn't able to do much with topaz um but i also put mahogany uh right here on the lower lash so uh yeah so far i mean it's cool it's a nice interesting composition interesting thing that i haven't tried before it looks good it looks really good and then on my lips i uh put it that baba boom uh plumping lip thing and look at the color it's so gorgeous 
and I love it. It looks so good. It also has like like a minty um, and also cooling, refreshing sensation over your lips. So that's really nice as well. So yeah, this is the look. This is how everything looks like. That's all I got from TJ Maxx this time. But I will go there again real soon. And hopefully next time when I make a list, I stay to the list. But it's hard, you guys. It's hard. All right. Thanks so much for being here and watching. And I'll see you next time with another video. Bye.